Hello guys and welcome back to Stalize Monster Sculpting in Seabrush Part 3 On today's video we're just gonna finalize our monster So let's uh, keep going Okay, so now that we have our antenna done We're gonna go to Subtool, we're gonna Append And we're gonna Append a uh, Sphere 3D Perfect Select the Subtool, move it up with W you get the, um, the transpose mode Let's scale it down and we're gonna create our horns in this part remember the short keys Q, draw, W, move, E, rotate and R, scale okay, so let's cut it down let's clip it down clip cord, it's that brush, let's move it And this place is where I think it's gonna be a what horn. So let's use the move tool and let's move it a little bit so we can create kind of like a little curve for the horn. Now that we have our horn ready, we're gonna go to C plugin, we're gonna go to sub tool master and we're gonna mirror in X. And we're gonna combine as a as a one sub tool. Great. We have our horns now for our monster. <coughs> Rotate all the views so you can see we're doing a good job. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna create our teeth. So this uh, paint uh, is sphere 3D. Let's get it down on the Z axis and X axis as well. Let's go with the move tool. And we're gonna keep the shape of the teeth a little bit. Move the bottom of it. So for the teeth, I try two techniques. First is kind of like a create like a piece of geometry that is like a gum uh, but uh, so I can insert the teeth from it and uh, the other technique just just create the teeth as a separate object and just duplicate it so I'm gonna show you how to create first uh, uh, insert mesh tool so once you have your insert mesh tool just to make sure that you have uh, uh, the mesh tool view where you're gonna kind of like it's gonna come out so let's uh, create insert mesh and uh, let's create new so that's gonna create a new brush for you insert brush and let's go back and select uh, the geometry that you want to add the, um, the teeth so once that is created you can just drag and move should have done the other side so when I started doing the, this process, it was like, oh, it's kind of like it's taking too long, and then I have a piece of geometry that I'm not sure if I'm going to use. So I decided to go other ways, you know, like there's so many different ways that you can actually like different workflows like, to create stuff, you know, like no, there's not like a proper way or, or a wrong way, just probably it's the way that work, works best for you and, and your process. So I believe like a each way is, is it's okay to do as, as long as as you do it good and, and it looks good so yeah so doing the tea like that we'll have to remake the 
the brush again because if you see when you drag it out it's kind of like a going the wrong way so yeah I got rid of that <laughs> so I'm just gonna instead of doing that I'm just gonna create um, So I had to do it from the bottom in order of, for the teeth to come out the proper way. So it depends. So you have to, to set up the camera. If you want the teeth to come out from the top of the bottom of the side. So you have to set up the camera according how your brush is going to come out from your model. Okay. Yeah. If you have any doubts about this technique, I'm going to create a tutorial soon about how to create your own uh, insert mesh uh, insert um, mesh brushes so you can save some time and and actually uh, create your own customs like uh, I have done with my hands like I have a custom brush for, for hands so I don't have to spend time creating individual hands for every single monster or creature that I'm that I'm doing I just can just go and modify it Yep, didn't like that technique at all, but kind of like a no, now know how to create an insert brush. So now that I have that piece of geometry, I'm just gonna duplicate it and just insert it there. <laughs> That's the easiest way to do it. Okay, let's put it down. I'm just gonna create first three of them, three or four teeth in one side, and then I'm gonna merge those sub tools together, and I'm gonna go to C plugin and mirror them. And now we have the four of them. I'm gonna duplicate them and move them to the other side. So I'm gonna do just gonna go to merge and merge down. Okay, merge and merge down. Merge and merge down. Perfect. So I left the first one there. So I could by itself the first one that I create. So I can just create the same ones on the other side of this one. So in this case, I'm just gonna turn the symmetry on for the teeth. I have my four teeth. I duplicate the first one. So I could just uh, take that one and uh, bring it to the teeth in the bottom. The bottom teeth. So. Okay, so now I'm gonna clear the visibility. I'm gonna rotate it to the other side so we can have it in there. the bottom teeth. And I'm gonna do the same technique, just create four in one side or three. I think I created three in one side, and I'm gonna do the same. Go to C plugin, subtool master, and then uh, mirror on X axis. Take 
Let's go to the That's great. So now that we have our teeth there, we're just gonna select the first one. We're gonna merge down again. So go merge down. Okay, merge down and press OK. And let's go to C plugin. Sub tools, master, duplicate, uh, sorry, mirror. And your index, and let's uh, turn on uh, symmetry in this one as well. So we can just put the tip together. Perfect. So we have our monster complete here. So uh, this is my first tutorial serial series, guys. I hope that you enjoy it, that you have learned something. Uh, hopefully, uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Follow me on Instagram at uh, Gomez Art 3D. Subscribe, share this video for people who want to learn ZBrush and I'm gonna keep uh, producing more tutorials for you guys and more content and any feedback that you guys have for me please let me know and take care and keep creating stuff like keep uh, being creative so take care guys I really appreciate your patience and going through these tutorials thank you so much Bye.